Hello guys, hope you are doing fine. We are back in Camino, which is my probably favorite uh, website from Solana ecosystem together with Drift and that I covered in another video. There is a lot of good websites, but I really love Camino and Drift and Camino is uh, only one month left for the drop of their token Camino. So keep on farming, keep on churning. I'm trying to do my bit here and there. And I'm going to show you the again what I'm doing and the easiest strategy, let's say, and the most complicated. So let's start with the easiest quickly. Let's go here to the long and short position here. As we know, uh, Solana is obviously going only up. It's still away from all-time high which is was $260 now it's uh, roughly at $130 so still can do double that and one of my favorites here is doing this strategy which basically means you're going to uh, bet that it's going to go up so I'm going to add some more here uh, you've got one thing here which is leverage obviously stay safe with it because uh, you can get liquidated, which means you're going to lose all your money that you deposited if you do it too hard. So uh, I usually, you know, between one and two, maybe that's fine. Uh, we know it's going to go up, but there is obviously always corrections in the price. So I'm just uh, trying to warn you to be safe because obviously it's very, uh, very risky. So all you have to do when you're here inside deposit, I already have some, but I'm going to add some more. So I'm just going to drop a little bit more and then open another long position, which may, means that we, we expect Solana to go up. So as you can see, if you uh, practice it a little bit, learn how it works and, you know, let's say, I don't know, maybe end of this year or next year, the crypto will start falling. You might, might even, uh, uh, open a short position if you make enough profits put them on the side save some money and obviously uh, you can even short Solana if you expect it to go down if it will start falling next year or whenever it's gonna happen for now I think and in general I think next couple months at least or six months or something like that is only going to go up at least to that all-time high 260 so hopefully it's gonna still double in price second obviously uh, strategy easy one is providing liquidity but obviously you have to be aware of the impermanent loss which means basically if one of those two coins you're providing uh, loses value the other one is doing okay then you're going they're going to rebalance your portfolio which means they're going to basically uh, get you more of the coin that performs worse and obviously it's going to uh, give you overall uh, losses let's say but uh, like I said now everything is going up so it should be fine so you can pick the one you like uh, with some high APY or some maybe more well known like Jupiter when or something like that and then obviously uh, the same story here deposit a little bit uh, you can deposit one of those coins that you are doing so if you don't have it then obviously you have to go something like Jupiter exchange and first swap the tokens from Solana whatever you have to the coin that you want uh, you, your Jupiter let's say in this case and you can swap it for uh, for that coin and then you can choose the one that you have and deposit and obviously check it from time to time what's going on uh, the tr the APY is obviously huge but it changes all the time so you have to just be aware of that and the third and last one it's all about getting those points the increasing the boost and uh, hopefully getting a very decent airdrop when the time comes is this borrowing and lending which is a bit advanced more advanced stuff but uh, nonetheless uh, also uh, interesting and obviously it's uh, here in the beginning so it's considered one of the important so you've got two buttons here under each coins they're even added new from Jupiter market uh, dollar and JLP token but let's say you've got Solana all you do is supply some Solana uh, to the the platform and after you supply some you'll be able to borrow it against the one that you supplied so let's say you supplied three Solanas uh, you'll be able to borrow uh, much less than let's say 30% so you could technically uh, supply some Solana then borrow some dollars USDC or this one or this one go to Jupiter and with that USDC in your wallet you can um, again swap that to Solana 
Solana back and deposit supply more Solana that will give you a bigger uh, bigger push in terms of points multiplier to get obviously a better airdrop to get more of those points and uh, in the end when the time comes you can obviously then withdraw it change it because there is a uh, problem with the APY with the uh, loan to value uh, so just be, be careful with that this is advanced strategy i didn't join it on this wallet uh, basically if if it gets to certain point you can lose again your full uh your full uh, value that you deposited so uh, just be careful with that but this is the way this is the advanced way to uh, use same money and basically multiply multiply the points much faster the fastest way but if you're new to this i would recommend going Going, let's say for the a little bit of money in the long position on Solana and then a little bit of money in that liquidity pool uh, just to see how you like it some well-known coins as you can see Jup Jupiter bonk uh, very uh, solid coins but obviously still high high risk higher risk and the borrowing lending also high risk that uh, especially if you do that uh, recycling of the funds that's going to cause uh, higher probability of liquidation so stay safe let me know any questions uh, keep on earning those points keep adding keep growing hopefully you're gonna get a nice decent airdrop uh, in a month so thank you for watching